In this video, we are going to demonstrate you the most accurate test cluster to diagnose lesions of the long head of the biceps. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Long head of the biceps pathology is an increasingly recognized generator of shoulder pain and functional impairment in symptomatic patients. Physicians are faced with diagnostic challenges owing to nonspecific clinical presentations and lack of direction based on physical examination findings. For this reason, Rosas et al. in the year 2017 have conducted a literature review and have come up with a test cluster. They found that the uppercut test combined with tenderness on palpation of the long head of the biceps had the highest accuracy to diagnose pathology of the proximal biceps with a sensitivity of 88.3% and a specificity of 93.3%. Although accuracy seems to be high, this test combination has not been confirmed yet by other studies or reviews, which is why we give it a moderate clinical value in practice. To perform the uppercut test, your patient's shoulder is in neutral position and he is asked to flex his elbow to 90 degrees, fully supinate the forearm and to make a fist. The examiner covers the patient's wrist with his contralateral hand and asks the patient to rapidly bring their hand up and across the body towards the chin, like in an uppercut punch in boxing, while the examiner gives resistance. This test is positive by pain or a painful pop over the anterior shoulder. Afterwards, palpate the extra-articular long biceps tendon in the bicipital groove with the patient's arm in neutral. You can find the bicipital groove if you first palpate for the coracoid process, then move about one to two centimeters lateral to land in the bicipital groove. You can confirm that your palpation is on the correct spot if you manually internally and externally rotate the shoulder and you should then feel the biceps tendon moving under your fingers. Be aware that this will be more difficult in patients with a well-developed anterior deltoid muscle, which is overlaying the biceps tendon, of course. This test is called positive if the patient reports tenderness upon palpation. This test cluster is considered positive if both tests score positive and it is negative if both items score negative. In case one is positive and the other is negative, the test outcome is not really informative as individually both tests have a rather weak diagnostic accuracy. All right, this was our video on the best test cluster for proximal biceps pathology. If you would like to learn more common tests for the proximal biceps tendon, click on the video right next to me. If you like our content, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button and a little bell icon below to get notifications as soon as we release new videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.